Welcome back to the Heads Up Show. I am Steve, and I am going to be playing around with some of these Eclipse Speed Authentic helmets. If you guys don't know about these Eclipse helmets yet, now you know. Each year, Riddell comes out with a new series of alternate helmets. This year is Eclipse, and it's all black everything except for one color on the logo. Black clips, black mask, chin strap, you name it. Over the next maybe two or three weeks, I'm gonna build like four or five of these, and I need your help. Today, I am gonna do this Dolphins one, but I got all of these helmets to build. So I want you guys argue amongst yourselves in the comments. What helmet do you wanna see next? What team? What color face mask? What style face mask? What color chin strap? What color visor? Have fun. Today, we're gonna play around and I'm gonna see just how sick I can make this Miami Dolphins helmet. So I'm gonna start off by taking off the face mask. I dipped, well, I didn't dip anything. Our master chef in the back, Corey, uh, dipped a couple of masks for me because I asked him, hey, give me an array of colors. This is a light teal that we call it. It goes really well with this, like really well. Here's a kicker mask. That could be cool. What do you think? I'm gonna go with the OBJ mask. If you're watching this video today, Sunday, early October, chances are we're out of it. But if you go to the listing, which is in the description of this video, you can sign up to be notified when it comes in because we do often get 20, 30 at a time. So sign up. That goes pretty sick with that. And I'm thinking chin strap. Do we wanna do a color? I can do the orange because I'm gonna throw some bumpers on here. Maybe that'll be too much. I know what we'll do. Let's keep this chin strap, but let's swap the buckles to orange, maybe? Yeah, let's do that. So I'm gonna take these off and swap them to orange Sports Star buckles. I like the Sports Star buckles because it's a step up as far as the buckle strength, the snap strength is concerned. And the color of these are, you know, for this helmet at least, really doesn't get much better. I'm gonna try to keep this black, teal, orange, and white. So it's a little more than I would normally do, but we do what we want, right? So while we have the face mask off, Let's do the back. So I cleaned this off. I took the warning label off. I just hit it with a heat gun and I'm gonna go with this nice orange warning label and I'm gonna put it close, yeah. So what I do is I go to the center, line it up. I'm gonna keep it close to that center line. I don't want it to be too far off to this side. You know, I don't love warning labels, but if they have to be on there, they gotta be on there, whatever. And then the one Florida decal, they wore these with uh, Hurricane Irene, I believe it was. I'm gonna kind of wrap the warning label with it. It's kind of cool, right? Yeah, okay. American flag. I think we should throw an embossed tech American flag on here. Let's go right across from that warning label. Why not? And then since it's an NFL helmet, wouldn't be complete without the NFL shield. Let's go up here with it. This is gonna upset some people because this is very unconventional placement, but whatever, man, I'm building it, right? I think that's kind of cool. So let's put the chin strap on. <laughs> it's looking cool. 
Okay, so while we have this off, let's also do the back bumper. Almost forgot about this. So this is the real deal. So this comes either right from the team or from samples that we made and sent off to the teams. Since we have them and we work with the teams, if you buy a collectible helmet, if we have extras, we're known to sometimes throw them on there for free. Um, I can't promise you anything, but here and there, if we can do it, we'll do it. Okay, so we don't need that anymore. Visors, I got a bunch of visors out here. There's like too many visors to choose from. I think the obvious thing would be to do something like Northern Lights. So it's got a lot of blue and a lot of green in it. Oh, but you know what? That's too easy. Let's do Inferno to keep that orange. Yeah, right? This is going to look nice. I'm using the Under Armour unbranded visor clips for a couple of reasons. First of all, they're still the most popular visor clips by far, but they're, they're just nice to work with. So you can take this and clamp it and really give it a good crank down. And then this way the visor won't go anywhere. Give us a wipe down. It's gonna look awesome. <laughs> All right, so. Black, white, orange, and light teal. Cool. I think it was good sticking with this. I think that this would have been too much orange. I don't know. What do you think? Should I put it on my head? Yes. All right, here it goes. Yeah, this is cool. So this would go like this. I'm not gonna bother adjusting everything. Here's what I want. I want your help helping me decide what combinations should I do next? Have fun leaving your comments. Let me know what you think about this one. And are you okay with me jumping on the camera sometimes and doing these builds? Because it's kind of fun for me. Jay gets to have all the fun. So anyway, thank you so much. Don't forget to visit greengridiron.com. Leave your comments below and help us grow the channel. If you don't mind, please tell your friends and your family, stay safe. And until next time, cheers.